is a young girl from this kingdom who went to this university to learn about magic. And uh, that's why there were spells in the game and all the weapons that uh, like blew up gems and obliterated gems. Uh, those were her spells that she was casting. Anyway, so I'll read the story as we go along. Luna, before I explain what I need from you, help me gather some gems. We will need their magic soon. Your main job will be to match gems of the same color. So he's explaining the game. Alright. You can match them together to gather the gold from the golden tiles or to free other kinds of items. However, the gem board may be bigger than the screen. It will scroll automatically to center on your last match. But you may also move the board by dragging the mouse in the desired direction while holding down the right mouse button. Have some fun. Okay. Oh, level one. Go. Let me know if it's too loud or too soft.
Just. 
black smoke. And we need to clear that black smoke away. They had that in uh, Jewel Match 3. There was this black smoke in that game too. You had to clear it away in order to get to the gems underneath it. I don't like the way this board moves around though. That, that's really annoying. I wonder if there's a way to turn off that feature. Hold still, damn it. Stop moving around. It's making me making me nauseous. That's just, just that me. Oh, I see. That's pretty. I don't want uh, full screen though. Never mind. Uh, I guess I can't turn that off. Just auto scroll speed. Make this slow. Auto scroll. Maybe that's the way the board moves around. I don't know. 
So whenever you see things sparkling, I think you need to click on them. Okay, put that away. Look at all these pretty red gems. always make a match um, um, with the chained up ones first. 
the key, but the hook went much further than I expected. Now I must fix the broken window as well.
So I just read the angel cards and use a stream of consciousness and see what comes up for me. Uh, 